In the midst of Middle-earth's tapestry, the valour of women shines with a brilliance most resplendent, especially amidst the elves. There within their fair dominions, a noble tradition of equality graced their existence. And amongst these ethereal folk, women found themselves regarded as peers to their male counterparts. And so it was throughout history, for no tale of Feanor would be complete without the presence of his beloved wife, Nerdanel the Wise, daughter of Mahtan the Smith. Unlike Feanor, whose fiery spirit burned with an unquenchable flame, Nerdanel sought a path of tranquility and enlightenment. Her wisdom long served as a cooling balm to his heated soul, and for a time she stood as the sole beacon to sway him from the precipice of his own passions. Yet when the fires of Feanor's heart blazed with an intensity that eclipsed all reason, Nerdanel, in her boundless wisdom, chose a path most divergent. In a moment of profound decision, when her beloved's hearth was irrevocably ensnared by his oath, Nerdanel, steadfast in her resolve, refused to tread the treacherous road. She forsook the destiny entwined with her kin, and in her wisdom she elected to remain within the sacred haven of Amal. There amidst the eternal splendour of Valinor, she evaded the doom that would befall the exiled Nold, and there she found solace in her noble choice. Hello my friends and welcome back to episode 6 of our Noldor of Eregion campaign in the Age of the War, Divide and Conquer with AGO. Due to popular demand, I had to bring back a special guest who hasn't made an appearance in quite a while, but after a lot of begging, she <laughs> finally agreed to uh, to come join us for another playthrough. So introducing Miss Izzy once again. Hello. <laughs> um, so I'll just do a quick recap, not for Miss Izzy, because she's obviously watched every single episode yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for those who haven't been paying attention we started out with just austin ethel over here and then on the other side austin nolor and since then we've expanded quite a bit we've taken under towers which does unlock one of the so palantiri started two locations yeah only two settlements and now we're at eight i think yeah mm -hmm. eight uh under towers we took corvillishar we also took dovon in the last episode because and at Wythe, you remember those fish people? Yeah. Uh, they attacked us, so we did a counterattack. And then we've also been fighting the goblins. We took Anon and Rod, Brunost. We've also taken Khazadum, the yeah. mines of Moria. Mm -hmm. But we gave that back to the dwarves. And then we also took Zak Kala, which we've been debating a bit, going back and forth, whether or not we should try and keep it for ourselves or give that to the dwarves as well. Yeah. Um, would still like I asked um, the comment section on the last episode to give me their mm. opinion, and it's been pretty much split. Like half the people <laughs> saying, "Give it to the dwarves, you know, don't worry about Maybe it." You should make a poll so you can see. Well, here's what I was thinking: we still need a couple turns before we can do the actual trade, because I need my diplomat to move back where the bloody hell there he is. He needs to move back. So that's one, two, three, three to four turns, yeah. and we'll see by then if the situation hasn't really improved in the north then i'll give it to the dwarves trade it with the dwarves uh if for some reason a miracle appears and the goblins have been destroyed or anything like that we'll hold it yeah. uh, a couple of people have also been clamoring me to make sure that my diplomat keeps Whoa. moving towards dorwinian because apparently i have a mission <laughs> an actual mission uh yeah which will give me a military unit which i desperately need so yeah, we'll keep on Without walking. I think... No, that's yes. Dolguldur. We might as well talk to them. Oh, we're at war with them. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I didn't realize we were already at war with them. Uh, but then we can move towards Dorwinian and talk to them next turn. And then we'll get an extra yeah. military unit. Uh, Bladesmith, Guild, and Austin Nolder, I will take. And then we'll kind of see what we can do in terms of a counterattack against Enid Wythe. We were also trying to gear up to fight against the Pricks of Dunland there down south uh, but the main problem right now is still to get troops so I've been training some troops as much mm -hmm. as I can but yeah that's kind of where so we're getting enough elves, actually. yes my elves need to produce a lot more uh, in the previous episode we also got a comment asking about our family tree because there's been a bunch of marriages all around so this is Prince Myrnil he's our pater familias I suppose yeah um, he's got two legitimate sons crown prince ecthelion and kiriatan mm -hmm. uh which is quite funny because is that kiriatan is that the same name of the elf that inf 
eventually kill Feanor? I might be wrong on that. Someone in the comments will uh, correct me. <laughs> then there's Antian, which is, I guess, also a natural born son. And Taufagoron, I believe, is an adopted son. Then Ecthelion has also adopted Erua Fadion, which is quite surprising because he's 20 and he adopted a 19 year old, yeah. but hey, that's just the game working as it should. Um, and also it looks like like he's married to a one year old boy, but I think that's just these bars not really yeah. being right because that might be a bit wrong even for Elven standards, so we'll just kind <laughs> of ignore that. Uh, but I think I can press the end turn, just make sure that right. everyone that yes. needs to be moved has been moved. I got a spy in Under Towers. Who is that to bolster the culture, but I don't think he's needed anymore. So I'll move him in the direction of Corvillishar. I'm going to need a lot more information on this front here, because I'm kind of blind. But I think I can press the end turn. Just make sure I'm building everywhere. I'm not building in Zakala, because I was still debating whether or not to hold it. But I mm -hmm. guess I can build the artists to... Uh, I'll get the builders hall. Oh yeah, I also need to destroy the buildings that don't do anything for me, like Azok's Hall. Practice range. Wall so breeder. Money. Yes, for the wall breeder, I get 700 gold coins, for example. Everything else does something. As elves, unfortunately, we cannot breed wargs, although they would come in handy. But uh, <laughs> alas. We can enslave a bunch of people. Like, well, enslave might not be the best word. Um, what, what else would you call it? Cooperatively employ <laughs> some people. Uh, but no goblins or orcs. Alas. But yeah, uh, the eventual goal of this campaign is to fight other elves oh, and subjugate so. them. Okay. But we're not ready for that yet. We're not strong enough. We need more settlements. We so need then more men. UF1. <laughs> it's part of the win conditions. Yeah. Another adoption, which I happily take, because extra elves is extra troops. I'm going to skip that for now because I'm not sure yet. So I got a new son now. Uh -huh. uh, where is he? What was his name? My Glad. And he's in Zakala. Oh, am I glad? Because <laughs> that's his name. That's a pun. <laughs> that he popped up there. Can he keep the peace on his own? Because then I can move these troops. Oh, I, need no? to keep, I need to keep a small garrison until the reinforcement. Well, until I give it to the, the dwarves. Yeah. But it's good that I get an extra governor there. I think I can already pull him back towards... Anon and Aurora, or Brunost, possibly. So then they'll be happy. They'll be happier because they is a governor then. Yeah. They have an important character, you know, looking over them. All right, so Austin Etho, we got the extra Sons of the Fallen, and I can get extra Lindar Bowman as well, which is really, really welcome. Dunland is once again gearing up for a fight. I should probably attack them now that they're a bit split up. Yeah, we'll clean them up one by one. And once I have enough troops, we'll go for an actual counterattack and start taking some lands from them, which will do wonders. Yeah, so... Okay. So I'm going to do a night battle, because then the reinforcements can't join. I'll have to fight them one at a time. So these... They're not bad units, but they're pretty bad compared to us. Yeah, and you know? are they with a lot? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a... A thousand... Hundred... Forty oh, one. Yeah. We're at four ninety one. But we're going to win this easily because we are <laughs> much better than some wildman pricks that probably haven't even invented toilet paper yet, you know. We're dealing with that, that kind of people, yeah. All right, do you want to fight this battle or should I do it? Eh, uh, you do. It's... Okay. Oh, yeah, right. It's a night battle, so it's obviously dark. pretty dark. But if I wait a little bit, I think... Ah, there we go. I like to see what I'm doing, and I think my archers would agree. So this is Prince Meyer now. He is our mm -hmm. faction leader. And he's got a unit of Stormguard in there. Really, really, really quite badass. So just them will probably win this fight, but I will use my Amanyar riders, my horses, as a backup, just in case I need them. Uh, move them wide. Oh. So they're the enemy. That's the enemy. He feels they... a bit jittery, but... Yeah. Don't know why it's so laggy. Yeah, there's a lot more of them. And out of us. But look, just look at them. I mean, these guys look kind of professional, but then if you take a look at these guys, some of them don't even have shirts, you know? It's winter. It's freezing. <laughs> like, they're just gonna get hypothermia before they can even reach my line. That's why they are running. Ah, true. You know a lot of these wild. Are you one of them? <laughs> no. Are you a traitor? If you could are be you? any race or be of any nation in Middle Earth, 
What would you what would you choose? You want to be a dwarf or you want to be an elf? Or you want... mm, little dwarf. Why wouldn't you want to be a dwarf? I don't like mines. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can't be a dwarf if you don't like mines. Yeah, no, I don't like them. I think that's just the only requirement <laughs> that you need well, to fulfill. do you like mines? You're way too big for them. You would always Yeah, yeah, but if I head. if I was a dwarf, I'd be, you know, dwarf size, of course. Yeah. But it's way too dark. I I would prefer mines over like mountain tops. No. So I'd rather be down below than up high. No. Yeah, yeah. I guess I guess I would like to live in Gondor, maybe like on the. They're like humans. They're yeah, on the way they're like, <laughs> I'd like to be a Numenorean Gond. So like, it's like a, a big human. They live longer. They're healthier. They're like superhumans, <laughs> yeah. pretty much. And I'd yeah. like to live on like the Western shores, like where it's pretty quiet. You know, that I don't have to fight border all the time. Just a pretty chill farmer life somewhere in like Langstrand or something like that. That'd be quite fun. I would like the elves. You like to be an elf? You know, yeah. you do know they're immortal, right? So you'd have to live endlessly. If the life is pretty good, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter that much. Yeah, but if we're married, <laughs> that's pretty much like Aragorn and Arwen, you know? You'd yeah, have, to, you'd have to say goodbye to me at some But you don't seem to mind all that much. <laughs> <laughs> so that works out rather nicely. I mean, I wouldn't be too opposed to being like... I'd rather be like Enedwaithrim than Dunlending, I'd say. I feel like Dunlending... Enedwaith is fish. Yeah, I feel like Dunlending is like proper wildman... Savage. The beer, man. Be beer. No? Uh, no, that's the Anduin oh. Vale. They're not too unsimilar, I suppose. These guys are just not doing it. They just like to get shot by me. <laughs> I don't I don't understand why they're not fighting. I mean, I'm almost out of ammo, so I'm, I'm going to have to pull something out of the bag. I'd like to... But I guess Rohan is also actually pretty nice. He's also yeah, pretty chill. Yeah, they're like... They're humans. Yeah, you don't want to be... Do you not like your human life at the moment? I don't know. I guess if you live in a fantasy world, well, you want to be a little yeah. bit more than that. I, I can see where you're coming from. You already know how it is to be a human, so... True. Yeah, taxes, mortgages. <laughs> Imagine being an elf. How long would their mortgages be? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I guess yeah, being an orc could also be kind of fun. No. Raiding, pillaging, you know. But what are they eating? It always seems like garbage. Yeah, true. Yeah, but, oof, they eat no. stinky rotten meat and they drink rog and maggoty bread. We ain't had nothing but maggoty bread for three stinking <laughs> days. What about their legs? They don't need those. We're gonna charge <laughs> them in the rear. The feels very like it improves a little bit. There you go. Is that broken? Okay. Yeah. See, you still know the essentials. Of course. This is he. I think if I let you play for like just a little bit, you pick it up yeah, like it's nothing. No, I can see your tactics, but you know, I don't know if I have to click right or left or. I mean, if that's the only thing holding you back, you'll get the yeah, hang of that relatively quickly. And which buttons I have to use? You don't need to like. There's a lot of buttons actually. Yeah, I, uh, you, I, you never really use at all. So don't think too much. That's my number no, one. No, just tip. click something. Yeah, just click. Yeah. <laughs> Just click and let them do everything. <coughs> uh, okay, he made it out nice. <laughs> See, that's the thing about the elves. You just send them in and they win. So, this is easy peasy for you? This is easy peasy because I was like, I'm not worried whatsoever. Because they outnumbered us, but we outclassed them by so much. Like, it's pretty one sided. So the, that is kind of sad, but the gameplay right now is not so much winning battles, because it's a given we win these battles, yeah. but it's winning battles without losing too many troops of our own, you know? It's doing a lot with so little. You want to be uh, efficient. Yeah. And if I was playing Enidwife, I'd want to be efficient. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> oh, I wish you guys could see the absolute eye roll I just received. <laughs> Ah, the general is routing the enemy general. Well, captain. Are they running? Yeah, those guys over here, they're running away. But doesn't matter. As long as I kill enough or capture enough of them, these are yeah. my prisoner count, for example, uh, then the entire army gets deleted. I don't have to kill everyone for everyone to be gone. Once I reach uh, it's currently 87% casualties, once it reaches, I think, 90, yeah. the army is considered to be destroyed. 
Oh, I have pretty much won. I'm gonna take a couple more prisoners, uh, and also they get like experience. Yeah. This guy's a gold chevron, oh, yeah. for example. Um, so running them down is not that bad because they get some experience out of it. Like these guys, for example, they're running, but they're not gonna reach in time. But the horses can. I want to get my horses maxed out because once we go to war with Donland, it's really gonna help. I mean, we're already at war with Donland, but like yeah, yeah, yeah. proper war. So there we go. That's a pretty clean win. Could have done with less this casualties on my horses, victory. but. See, I lost, let's see, three horses. Oh. They can be retrained, so it's not a big deal. But they gained some yeah. experience, so that's worth it. That's true. Alright. As is tradition, when Miss Izzy joins me in a recording, she gets to make the choice on what we'll do with the prisoners we took during the battle. So, Miss Izzy, as our queen and guiding light, <laughs> what shall we do? Shall we ransom them? Shall we release them? Or shall we execute them? Now, do bear in mind, the choice yeah. you make here, people, you know, <laughs> they're going to give you a name. I, but what's the most, what was the smartest decision? Like, does it matter if you... I'll just, give, I'll just give you, like, a brief explanation of the options, and then you can decide which is the smartest. If you execute them, you execute them. The, those are gone, yeah, you never have to worry nice. about them. And the enemy faction, Donald in this case, like you less. Because you execute their prisoners, right? <laughs> if you release them, those guys are going to be back in the front line in no time. But the enemy yeah. faction likes you because they're like, oh, yeah, you're kind of a bad guy. You're actually kind of chill. Ransoming is somewhere in the middle. You're going to give them back, but they have to pay for it. If they can't pay, you execute <coughs> them anyway. So they're not going to really like you or dislike you. Those guys are going to be back neutral. And those guys are going to be back at the front line. But we get 851 coins. But it doesn't matter if they like you or not. Not really, because they're going to fight us anyway. I don't think there's going to be a cease. Money. I don't really need money. Yeah, why don't you execute You're just trying to justify the <laughs> execution. No, what's you what's had your mind thing? made up. If you need money, why, would you, why wouldn't you ransom them? So you want to execute? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just say so. Say no. Right. Let's clean this guy up. Oh. Why are you running? Alright, uh, no. also Dunland, uh, oh. it's another army that was parked right outside. <coughs> if you guys don't mind, because these battles, you know, they're not too exciting, I will just quickly fight this one and just show you the result, edit out the battle itself, because it's just going to be more of the same. So, back in a sec. Alright, that was a pretty easy fight. Uh, the enemy was a little bit more aggressive, so we had to send in some of our infantry. So let's see, we lost two Sons of the Fallen, uh, four Swordmasters, but we healed one, so we lost only one. Uh, sorry, three. Maths. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we also lost one of our riders, but he came back. He was just wounded. Uh, so. yeah. And he has gained some experience, so that's pretty nice. And those guys can be retrained, that's not a problem whatsoever. So there you go. Very nice. Alright, Miss Izzy. Shall I just assume to know your choice? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you are <laughs> bloodthirsty, man. Oh my god. It's, it's just a game. But those are people's lives. They are families, wives, children. It's you, why? Yeah. AI. AI, okay, whatever. Artificial, in well, well, artificial, quote unquote, intelligence. <laughs> the medieval two AI isn't exactly the smartest. Come, thing. my brothers. Like the wind. Like the wind. Elves. Uh, happy enough. So I think we had another end turn, right? Um, Don't you oh, no. need to train? Oh uh, yeah, retrain and also talk to Darwinian. You want to trade? Acceptable. But only, only just. just. <laughs> so they don't really like me, but I do get an extra unit. Please be a good unit. Lindar Bowman, Lindar Bowman. Lindar Bowman, yeah. Hey. That's literally the best unit I could have gone. Yes, my lord. Straight to the front line you go, mate. I'm thinking of sending these farmer and pikemen to Austin in order to keep the peace, and then these other farmer, uh, sorry, uh, Lindar Bowman can join the front. Because I want to keep Kiriatan moving. I want to take whatever settlement comes So, next. like, now you're just building your army, actually. Yeah, building up my settlement, building up my army, just preparing for the future. You know? Yeah. Um, it's a strategy they often call turtling. Because you're just kind of hiding in your shield like a turtle, and just building up. Getting stronger because yeah, once again the border and Edwife over there. And Edwife is not a friend. So I put up some watchtowers along the road. I need to put watchtowers on this road as well. Uh, but I'm out of movement range for now. Just so we know what they're doing, how they're moving, and we can prepare accordingly. 
Um, but I'm gonna have to like retrain re retrain units. Uh, the culture is improving quite rapidly, so I'm considering getting the chasm here, because that will allow me to get riders and sword masters, which is very welcome. If I'm at 44% now and this takes six turns, I will have 50% by then. Yeah, it's a lot of money, but it's worth it, right? I think so. I think so. That's also a castle, so it's going to allow me to train more troops. Okay. Oh, and I'll get an extra spy in there, so the culture will definitely go up. Up, up and away! Um, so you oh. move my diplomat over here. Yes, Keep moving towards El Dwarves. Without question. <laughs> I speak, I speak yes, fluent Spanish, didn't you know? <laughs> Um, and the thing is, Enadwaith and Dundant are also at war among each other, so it's kind of like yeah. a three-way war. So I hope they also divert a lot of attention among themselves that I don't have to worry about much. But uh, yeah, the plan is very much to send these troops from Zakala back home to Austin Ethel, get these guys up to scrap, retrain, as you indeed suggested. Um, and then we should have a decent enough army to march south to Dundant and really deal them quite a Quite a heavy blow, mm -hmm. normally, because I can send Ecthelion out as well. Uh, he's pretty much my best warrior. Yeah. He's really he's got um, heavy knights, so they do a lot of, you know, they pack a punch. They do a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah. I probably mentioned it a couple times, but yeah, I'm going to decline. In Medieval Two and in any other mod, cavalry is king. Cavalry is by yeah, far the most. Uh, you it's like not, that, yeah. Well, it's not really just about liking it so much as but it... But you use them a lot. Well, yeah, so because objectively it simply is the best choice. And easiest. Or not. Well, that often comes together, you know, the best is the easiest. It's the easiest way to win, yeah. Because you need horses. Yeah. Archers and infantry, you know, they all just kind of exist to give the horses stuff to do. <laughs> So I want to take Dondarak and Bayrik. If I can take both of those at the same time, that would be good. I think Enedwaith is already eating a lot of land from Dunland. The Dunedain might help us. We'll see. Ooh, lots of buildings being finished, which is not good because I need to spend a lot of money to get new buildings. But you will get money from them. Yeah, yeah. It's always an endless yeah, so... investment cycle. <laughs> I think I'll get fountains in Dolvor nice. just to make the people happy. You like fountains? Yeah. I'm fountain girl. Like swimming. Oh, okay. I'm not going to build anything in Zakala for now because... I assume we're gonna trade it off. Uh, I guess I'll get the vinya. I don't need to invest in that just yet, because I need to wait for the settlement to grow. We need more people, and apparently if you give them more happiness, people are more likely to bone. Make babies, which is what we need. We need these elves to bump uglies and, you know, make the baby. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start up a program like they do in China with like the panda bears, oh my God. <laughs> just to get them to breed. I'm like, Come on, make babies. Um, the mining network would be nice. How much would roads bring in? So my trade currently brings in one seventeen, which is not a lot of money. If I get roads, two five six. That's also not that much. Most of my income is mining, farming. There's a lot of corruption actually. Well, what does that mean? The corruption? Yeah. Well, that's, you can improve corruption both by putting in a governor, which is I will do first. Oh, yeah. That should reduce corruption. Stop See, here. my income goes up. Uh, and also building buildings oh. that give you a law bonus. Like the militia yeah. army, for example, gives me 15% law bonus, uh, which improves public order and also reduces corruption. Yeah. Actually, this guy doesn't reduce corruption at all. He's just as corrupt. So getting an extra <laughs> law building could be good. I think I'll get the Hall of Music. Because that gives me recruitment slots, a health bonus. It's actually a really good building. It gives me a lot of things all at once. This and a law very bonus. Pretty. Yeah, you know, that's pretty. Yeah. Very elven, you know. I'm going to fill this guy with wonder just by playing jams. Pump jams. up the jam. Pump. I doubt that's the music the elves play. But <laughs> who knows. Under tower's got the leather tanner. And I don't need to build that just yet. So I'm going to wait. Because that building is... Oh, that's someone's going to take forever to uh, upgrade. Yeah. So I hope we can retrain some mercenaries here. But you still have a lot of money, though. Yeah, that's kind of my problem. I have money, but but I don't have stuff I can spend it on. I would like to get more troops, but I can't get more troops because they're not available to get. Money is not the issue. It's just availability. So, you know, see, I can't train anyone because they're all yeah. out. 
Uh, we can almost get some more Royal Sentinels though, that's quite good. They'll be very helpful. Um, but soon these guys will come south, they can be retrained. I can also now get these guys in the direction of Austin Ethel, they can be retrained. And then I'll actually have a somewhat sizable army to fight yes, against Donland. I'm going to try to get an alliance with Dorwinian, but Norway, even though he's a fellow elf, says no. So I guess we'll match towards an elf. Yeah, not all elves like us. You know, we are the heirs of Feanor, we've got blood on our hands. <laughs> so, I don't blame them for not, you yeah, know, fully liking me. <laughs> Makes sense. Right, go there, keep the peace, and then these guys can come to Dol Vorn. And I might be able to team up with these guys to maybe push some more lands here. Because the plan is eventually to have yeah. both oh, my yeah. realms kind of... Like a connection. Yeah. But that's going to take some work, especially now that the Dunedin have put a stop to that. But I hope I can buy settlements off them later on. I don't want this guy to lay siege to me, but I don't think he will. Because then my roads will be finished and they're going to bring in a lot of money, like a ridiculous amount. <laughs> we go from 2,000 trade income to well over 3,000. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of money. big leap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the best buildings we can get. Okay, so press the end turn. Unless I always need to make yes, sure that everyone has moved that needs lord. to move. Yeah, those spies can stay. Okay. And then once the chasm is finished... On the yeah. Eastern Realm, no, the Western Realm, I always mix up East and West. Then I can get more troops and we can also fight Enedwaith with them. So it's very much the quiet before the storm at the moment. Mm. Once I have the manpower, we're gonna go... All right. Yeah, Blitzkrieg pretty much, you know. Take a lot of lands quickly. And then they're gonna be like, ooh, no. <laughs> you know, that's the plan. Catch them by surprise. Will it be a surprise? What? Will it be a surprise? I mean, the game knows everything, really. So I don't know. So Bregos is actually not that well defended. So if I just get these guys, and then Keriatan and Lindar Bowman, can I keep the peace in Dolphorn? Uh, not yet. Very, very close. <laughs> so we'll wait just a little bit longer as I wait for the troops at Korvilishar. So, construction report. The roads in Ostenithal are finished. Ostenithal yeah. is becoming very wealthy. That's the well, amount of money they bring in every turn. So that's yeah, just yeah, yeah. ping, 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 you know, bank account goes brr. Mining network could be good. I don't need a way station. Um, that's for the regional units. Yeah. But I don't have... Well, it's not relevant at the moment. If I could get extra barracks, I would get them, but I can't. What do I need? I got the Nolder Guard Hall. If I want to upgrade that, what would I need? To a Nolder Barrack, I need a Hall of Culture and a Blacksmith. Because that would allow me to get Noldor units, which are the best of the best. Yeah. And... Yeah? No. You can't do that now. Well, I need the Hall of Culture and a Blacksmith, and I don't think I have either of those at the moment. In in that settlement? In that specific settlement, yeah. yes. Uh, so, hang on, I might have the Hall of Culture. Uh, what does it look like? Is that after the Hall of Song? No. What, what is... Uh, Sorry guys, I'm it's a town hall. So that's Hall of Song Music and then Culture. So we got a while to go there. I think I'm going to go for the Blacksmith upgrade first. We need to get that up to Blacksmith. From Leather Tanner to Leather Worker to Blacksmith. Yeah. And I also need to upgrade my Blacksmith. And you can't do both at the same time. No, I can only build one of them. I think I'm going to go for the Master Builder's Hall first because that speeds everything else up. So the quicker I get that, the better. No training just yet. Always double check. Maybe these guys can be retrained. That would be very nice. No, no one can be retrained. <laughs> Sad. Uh, Mr. Diplomat, yes, you my love. here. Can you talk to the dwarves? Yes, you can. So I'm going to move my guys out of Zakala. Because the they're going to get kicked out anyway. And if they get kicked out on this side, we're screwed. <laughs> so I'm going to yeah. make sure I move them out myself. Um, so you go talk My to Lord. the dwarfs. Approaching there. It's, good to, see you. it's uh, good to see you. And we are going to trade. I actually wanted to rename the settlement first. I forgot about that. Ah, whatever. Uh, Zakkala. I'd love to get some money. Their wealth is reasonable. So, yeah. you know, we could ask for something. What would you say? 15,000? 
Yeah, sure. I have oh, no fuck. idea how much is. Well, it's inflation really... has hit Middle Earth. <laughs> I think that's. A, I don't want to go for the balanced because I don't want them to be say no. Um, I wanted to say generous. Eight thousand. Anything we get. Oh. oh, they give me a counter offer. 6.5k. We can get you new shoes with that. So. <laughs> okay, and they can hold Zakala. They get a bunch of Dwarven Travelers. And now I don't have to worry about the goblins anymore. That's their problem. And I yeah. can focus all my troops on the south. Unless the goblins take them. Yeah, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. But then these guys, Captain Manwe, that's a very blessed name. Uh, he can move to Austin Ethel and we can, you know, we actually got a reasonable army here. We can fight Dunland with that. Yeah. And then Dunland's gonna feel quite bad for themselves and they're like, oh, maybe we shouldn't have declared war on them. And I get extra troops here, which is very well. Because then I can fight Enedwyth at the same time. Alright, I can build something here as well. Could go for the Kazan as well to get more troops. Which I think I will do, honestly. Yeah. Well, why, why wouldn't you? Because it's expensive. That's okay. the one. Thingy, but the dwarves you just have gave like us twenty-one thousand. Yeah, I know. So but yeah, it's, it's... The, the dwarves just gave me a donation of like six k, so I can invest five k now. Yeah. yeah. I know I've got a lot of money at the moment, but it's the campaign is gonna get really expensive later on. So I, I wanted to get like for your troops. Yeah, troops and also new buildings as well. So I wanted to get like a bit of a how do you say that emergency fund? You know. Swiftly. I know you laugh, but yeah. You're Baby. Yes. Life is hard for all of us, okay? We need to be prepared for the worst. Alright, hello Rune, my favourite faction. You wanna trade? Of course you do, mate. What do you trade? Uh, jewellery, gold, silver... If you have it, but we don't have it. Hobbit pipe weed. Yeah. You know, the sweet Middle Earth Kush. Uh, I don't know what else you could trade. Um, food, wheat. No, 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 not marijuana. That was the goblin. Uh, the goblin. The <laughs> hobbit pipe wheat. The wheat. Or how else? How do you pronounce that? You know, W H E A T. Like yeah, grain. Yeah, yeah. It's like kind of grain, you know. I know. I so why do you fan. keep you, you keep giving me the eye? We're like, what the hell are you talking? About? <laughs> also, I noticed a massive Dunland army there, so I'd like to weather that storm. Make sure we get a good view of where they're going before we move out. Gather the troops. We train what we can. I should be able to retrain the mercenaries here, but... Alas, there is no one available in the pool. Vineyard and Brunost, good. Nice. Do I want the armory? Yeah, because there's a fair bit of corruption. There's even some devastation there. Uh, I could get an extra spy, but... Do you need them? Now? They're kind of helpful, actually. So I can oh, also, yeah. like, scout ahead to see what Donald's yeah. up to. My lord. I'll As also move my be. diplomat to do yes. some espionage. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm not gonna wait for those guys. I will pop these guys in and then I should be able to move them out and they're pacified. They're happy. Good. Come my brothers. Come my brothers. And then I can move to here. Put down more watchtowers and I wanna take these woodlands. Can I bring in those guys? Yes I can. So they'll join me. Uh, okay. It's very risky, all of this, because I'm doing... I need to, like, do yeah. so much with so very little. But high risk, high reward, you know? Um, Austin yeah. Ethel got extra Lindar Bowman. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. But, yeah, I mean... I'll, I'll show you in a moment. So I'm going to get that extra spy, because it's... Yeah. Uh, am I already training him? Yeah. There's a big Dunland army here, so I want to make sure that they either move towards Enedwyth or they attack mm -hmm. me, maybe Austin Ethel, we can fend off the attack, and then we're ready for a counterattack. I want to take Bidig and Dunlarak pretty much simultaneously if possible, uh, and that will give us a lot of buffer room and just give us some good insight, good information. Uh, we'll yeah. have to see how they respond. That will also slow down Dunland quite a lot, I believe. You hope? I, 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 it should. <laughs> I guess that's the right way to uh, phrase it. But just, like, also kind of pray that we don't get attacked by anyone else at the moment, you know. If Bree, for example, would also declare war on us, which I don't see them doing it, but, you know, you sometimes... Know. Yeah, the AI can sometimes do weird shit. Then we'd be in trouble. <laughs> or if, um... The Northern Dunedain, you know, Aragorn and friends, yeah. if they're like, oh, screw you, wolves, then that would also be trouble. 
Do you like my Aragorn impression? <laughs> I'm Aragorn, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna be King of Gondor, huh? <laughs> I like Aragorn, he's a cool guy. I know. Do you know who my favorite Lord of the Rings character is? You should know this. Um, uh, not, uh, not Boromir, but his brother, no? Faramir? He used to be my favorite. Now oh. it's Boromir. Wh what? Like, okay. Ch chain. So this guy's coming over with the big doom stack. I don't like that because it's going to cost oh, nice. me some troops to fend off the attack, but, well, it's better that we fight him here than on the open field. I'll get yeah. the Royal Sentinels because that's an extra general. Without question. Without so you push. hope yes. they, they'll attack the city? So yes. Yeah, because yeah. then I have got the strength of the walls yeah. to help out. And then we can do a counter attack. It's a big army, but we should be able to fend it off, especially because I got both Myrnil and Ecthelion in there. So we do have strength. The These guys are just too far away, Onward. which is really unfortunate. And they can't reach the city before? No. Oh. And are they not like... Um, Oh, yeah, too spicy. Like uh, re reinforcements? No, because oh. they need to be like one tile yeah. next to it, and they're like three, I think. Three or two. So, yeah, as unfortunate as it is, there's, there's nothing I can do against that. It's just what it is. Oh, hello, Anna's wife. <laughs> Goldang. Look at this guy! He looks angry. He looks very angry. Alright, well I get the troops then, so we fight him together, get rid of him, and then we should be able to take Nelkelin. The wilderness. Pretty easy. Yeah, the, the wilderness of Nelkelin. He's actually picked up some cell swords and some satellite mercenaries. That's frustrating. Are they good? They're not bad, and also, they're mercenaries that I would have liked to buy. <laughs> <laughs> and they uh, they put an end to that, but okay. Well, Alright, let's kill Goldang. Uh... You like the name Goldang? It's funny. I just think of Gold Dong. Like if you had a dong of gold, you know? Could be. Uh, and then we can march further to take more land. The the war on this side is actually looking quite good because nobody really cares about that. So they're not yeah. sending out all the troops. They're like, oh, whatever. It's a pretty <laughs> shit country. But it adds up, you know? There's actually not bad settlements. Uh, did I make a save? I think I did. I'm talking so much I forget all the saves I make. So let's clean him you up. You did make a save. Yeah, I'm sorry. And then we'll uh, proceed from there. <laughs> Send them back to their okay, it seems oh. I need to apologize. Why? Because Kiryatan was not the guy who killed Feanor. Feanor was killed by Morgoth, obviously. I don't know how I forget that. Uh, but Kiryatan, Tar Kiryatan, was uh, apparently a Numenorean king. So, interesting. We are learning. But this guy is quite cool because he's a horse arch unit. So he's got the two best things that you can get in Medieval 2 combined in one. You get horses and you get ranged archery. So a very lethal unit. I think Kiryatan alone can clean up this army. We do have the backup in case, you know, yeah. they uh, act annoying. But it shouldn't be necessary. I think the most dangerous unit is the uh, Saraline Mercenaries. Because they yeah. have... Uh, are they uh, sort of because, uh, hiding? Yeah, then yeah. uh, kneeling down because they were hiding, but it didn't really work out because you know. You saw them. Yeah. Right. Their camouflage <laughs> kind of sucks. It might work in the woods, the brown, but in the open yeah. grassy fields, uh, less so. Less effective. Shouldn't you like pull them back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm uh, sorry. I'm a bit of a cocky guy, you know. I pulled them back the last <laughs> one. There was still a lot of room there. Yeah, I know. It's like driving with my mum. They're right there! No, they're not! <laughs> There's still like 10 hey. meters between us. <laughs> Sorry. Love you, mum. In case you're watching, which I don't think you are. But... <laughs> I don't think either. Aw, that's rude. I was about to say she might be. <laughs> yeah, no. I should get her to join in for a recording. I don't think she would like that. Why not? I think you underestimate my mother. All my tactical and strategical genius does not come from my dad. It comes from my mom. Yeah, if my mom has taught me the art of war. Yeah. See, that makes sense. See, you know it makes sense. I know it does make sense. <laughs> People are going to have a very weird idea of my mom. Now. But if you're, if I'm Izzy and you're Miss Izzy, what does that make my mom? Like, Izzy Senior? No, that's, that would be my dad. I, kept, I have no idea. <laughs> I broke your mind so much you started speaking <laughs> yes, Dutch sorry. spontaneously. Okay, now the rest right. of my archers are gonna join in, so... Okay, yeah. 
Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Is that not a beautiful sight? I like the color. Yeah. So the normal high elves are like blue and gold silver. We swapped the blue for the red, which yeah, just looks more. Dull. Yeah. I like it. Like a dark red, purple almost. Like red wine. Yes. I think we like to drink red wine. Nah. I mean, no, no, but the elves. Oh, okay, yeah. Law wise. See? I much prefer white wine, and I know you do too. Mm hmm. Very sweet wine. Very sweet wine. <laughs> Lemonade, pretty much. <laughs> no, that's not true. Like dessert wine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you mean. Right, that are the elder guildsmen. They're they elders, so they're, they're the general. They're a javelin unit, so they chuck javelins. They look so small. Uh, that's probably just because of their stat. Like they were, like bending yeah, down a little bit. Their posture. Post bad posture. I <laughs> <laughs> need to get the gamer chair. Uh. Lost half their From his Izzy, I need to throw out a squeaky chip. Oh yeah. I never it's will. It's very bad for his back. It's not. It is. It might be, but that I'm still not gonna throw it. They're fighting there. Where? Here? here? No, in left side. Oh yeah. How did you see that? Oh, they're broken. Uh, it's uh, something red. Like that. Oh. Uh, better red than dead. <laughs> okay, well we're gonna win this. We're gonna take some casualties. But that's not we are so much better than Edward White. Yeah. Like, we're better than Dunland, but... Actually, no. Uh, I think Dunland is weaker than Edward White. Edward White really isn't a bad faction. And I can't wait until I get to play as Edward White. They're never gonna win a poll, though. You can play as Edward White. You know you can choose, right? No, the people. <laughs> you know how much I love democracy. If it's in your favor. Isn't that how democracy works? <laughs> it's good if it agrees with you. Democracy bad when they like make bad choices. Where is the general? He's supposed to be in here somewhere. There is just one big blob of red. Yeah. Oh, here he is. I think it's this guy. Or that guy, the one, the horny guy. <laughs> Look at that. You can immediately tell who the elves are, like, we just look better. Yeah. Yeah, big ass the swords. And I come the horses. The and the game just ended right yeah. before the charge because they broke. Is it like. Don't you do friendly fire? Not with a horse charge, no. You can do friendly fire, but only with uh, ranged weaponry. Get them. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. Yeah. Run, Bob, run! We're not gonna make it, Frederick! Indeed, you are not. Uh oh. Oh, one guy made it, actually. Shall we let the one guy. I think it's too late. I Sometimes I like to let, like, one guy live. I oh, will let those guys live. Just to send a message, you know? <laughs> oh, actually, is the general. Okay, good. Because if Goldang was still alive, that would be problematic, but. Now, not so much. I mean, yeah, we lost some of my yard, but that's okay. That is fine. Should I bother asking, or, uh... Uh, you know the answer. Because you are beyond violent. <laughs> I kinda like it. We must defend these lands. Elves, Makes me feel a bit confused. We will need that There's a lot of loud children outside. Yeah, I yeah. think they're the scouts. Ah, yeah. Uh, like now there's someone honking outside. I have no idea what I just wanna make about. a video! <laughs> Alright, Erebor and Rohan are friends, good. Get them glittering caves, boys. Enidwyth, like, our relations got worse. Mate, you declared war on me. I asked Enidwyth for an alliance, like, three times, and mm -hmm. they were always like, nah. Then they attacked me, even though we were trading partners, and now they're like, we don't really like you all that much. <laughs> you fucking kidding me, mate? I wish I could, like, pick relations and just be like, I hate you. I literally hate Enidwyth more than I hate Donald. What, what is written you? Retinue, uh, oh, basically, like, your closest guys. Oh, yeah, your best friends. Yeah, so <laughs> he got, like, an extra map guy, for yeah. example, and uh, improves his skills. Well, Retinue, it's more like in a military term, of course, not, like, mm -hmm. close buddy-buddy, but <laughs> I really hope Eoshaint attacks me, and then we can flick him away like a dirty fly. 
You're yes, speaking Scottish? <laughs> like what? <laughs> if you think that's Scottish, I think people are gonna. I have... know, but it sounded like it it's sounded a... like brave. Yeah, we we watched the brave movie yesterday, and now the brave movie. Yeah, the brave Just movie. Brave. A... Is that guy called <laughs> Groin? <laughs> Captain Groin. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna touch my groin. Hail and well met. My groin's also a Scottish. That was a good joke, Mrs. You should have given it some more laughs. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> pathetic. All right, I think we can press the end turn. Although we'll have to face some war. But that's okay. Although I should move my diplomat. Mm -hmm. Diplomat, diplomat, where are you going over there? Yes. Ma you moved everybody. No. Nope. After that. No. Oh, oh, Tomorrow's journey. Press the end turn. What are you gonna do? Huh, what are you gonna do? You can't stop me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you could stop me if you really wanted to. No. You just have to hit me in the groin. <laughs> ah! Yeah. One day, I want you to take over my YouTube channel, okay? Oh my god, no. One day, all of this will be yours. As far <laughs> as the sun goes, or whatever. It's the quote plans. from The Lion King. Everything light touch will be yours. It's something like that. Yeah. Well, there you have it. <laughs> You're my Simba. I'm oh your god. Mufasa. Someone has taken Karas Nernanad. Mission expired. The absolute prick. So now Dunland has a... Uh, I can actually get these guys in as reinforcements. So just park them behind. Yeah. Then they'll attack me. It'll be a big battle, but if I win that... Hmm. Can you not see if... <laughs> oh, they send in more guys. That's actually quite good. Another angry guy. Because then if I fight them, I should be able to take the settlement relatively easily. Alright, let's go to the construction log first. So in Austin Ether, we've got the master builder's hall, but I'm gonna have to wait anyway. Okay. And then a non rod we got the hall of music. What do I want there? Why did I get the hall of Oh yeah, for the corruption. Right. The corruption is a lot less now, so becoming quite a good settlement. It is also a castle, right? So I can invest in some troops. I think I'll get the dwarven quarters there, because that gives me dwarven units, which are quite oh. welcome. Yeah, they're pretty good. Okay, I'm quite happy that I got governors all over the place. <laughs> uh, Rohan and Isengard are at war. Okay, took them long enough. Okay, okay, okay. So, I think we need to clear up these Enedwaithrim first. Handir, Dubshit. <laughs> That's his name! <laughs> That's literally his what name. The hell? Oh, this guy can't do night battles, that's annoying. I thought you were like joking, but... No! I never joke. Why can't... why is the problem? Uh, you need a specific trait to do night battles, so only specific generals can do oh, it. Oh, yeah. This guy doesn't have the trait. But it's fine, I can clean up these guys really easily, and then the reinforcements will come in. By the time they arrive... They are with like a thousand. Yeah. Isn't that like... a lot? Miss Izzy, have you not been paying attention this episode? Yeah, but still! What I don't are know. what are they? And it's white? No, oh, they're not the fish people. They are the fish oh, people. Okay. What are we? The elves. So, what are we worried about? <laughs> <laughs> they just they like they smell like fish. We smell like royalty. Roses. Yeah. We fart rose. R r rose. I can't even roses. say We fart <laughs> I can't <laughs> speak English anymore. Let's just jump in. Right, so we need to clean up that first time relatively quickly, and then the next time it will be a complete pushover. The next time it does have a ballista, which I wish I could steal, <laughs> but alas, you can't take over enemy siege equipment. In Empire Total War, which is set around like 1700, 1800, and actually earlier, 1600, 1700, mm -hmm. um, there's also like naval battles where you fight Ooh. boats against boats, and you can actually like take over enemy ships once you beat them. That's pretty cool. To expand your fleet, that's a really cool feature, yeah. yeah. That would be cool if you could do. The, oh, they disappeared. If you could do the what? same, yeah, because they go into hiding. Oh my god! But look how we shoot. Can them. you still die if you're hiding? Yes, technically you can, but you can't like aim at them. But if I aim at them and they miss and hit some random guy that's yeah. hiding, you can die. Yeah. Okay. So they're running away from, me, which is annoying. Because I wanted to fight. Why are they running? Why are you running? <laughs> I don't know, because they're scared. Because they realize they are fish people and we are elves. They can smell the roses, I suppose. Oh, it's not that big of a problem because these guys are coming in. Oh yeah. So they're instantly running actually. Yep. But they're not gonna run all the way, like they're not gonna leave the battle. Uh-huh. They're just relocating, I guess. 
waiting for the reinforcements, I suppose, which I will try to intercept for the most part. Should be able to run down every single one of these guys, if I so desire. And I think I do. Uh, who's your general meet? Is it actually the Ballista crew? It is the Ballista crew. Oh, that's quite joyous. Because I wanted to kill them first anyway. Yeah. So then I get the benefit of also killing the general first. So, you know. Down, 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 down. That's a two for one, baby. Oh, that's split up. For us. This uh, is good. For us, it's good. For oh. them, it's quite bad. Because that's the name of the game. Divide and conquer. Divide et impera. I think that's Machiavelli, but I might be wrong on that. Is it like Latin? <laughs> what? Divide et impera is Latin, yeah. Oh. And it just really means like if your foe is united, they're much harder to take down. But if yeah. you divide them up, you know, take them down yeah, yeah, yeah. bit by bit, they're much easier to kill. And that's what they're doing with us by having them split their forces. So they are like bad generals, actually. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's Ballista. Yeah, and they're missing me like... Oh. Are they missing? Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> he says in very calm voice. <laughs> totally are. Alright, he's chucking javelins at me, which is slightly annoying. <gasps> oh, not much I can do against that. Because I want to get rid of the general first. Oh, the Ballista's just shooting. They shot their own guy. Oh what are they doing? God. Yeah. They're quite terrible. I don't mind. Alright, let's pull back because I actually need my reinforcements to help out. It's Not that I. Be easy peasy? Or? It's gonna be easy, but I'm gonna lose some troops. That's just unavoidable in this case. Yeah, that was like so many. Yeah, but I don't need to kill them all. I just need to kill enough and then they'll rout. They'll be like, oh no, we can't possibly hope to win this. <laughs> and that's all we need to do. We don't need to win. Oh, we don't need to kill them all, is what I'm trying to say. We didn't need to win. But, but yeah, I'm going to lose some infantry, that's okay. Like, We're killing a lot of guys here, you know? We don't need to keep that in mind. Everything we kill now, or we get to route now, we don't have to kill later on. So. Whoa, it's cool. You mean the charge? You see them, like, flying. Yeah, 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 yeah and then they break, because they're like, oh, no. We die quickly. Why are they, like... A lot of green. Because that's us, we're green. Yeah, but in the red. Because that's my cab that was charging in, so they were kind of like intertwined, mixed among them. Then I charge them, they're shaken. And we wait for them to break. Are they gonna break? Wavering, broken. Yep. Okay. And we charge the next lot. And just repeat, that's all you need to do. Game is easy. It's not easy, but. It's not that hard either, you know. Once you have cav and once you just have like infantry and cav, you can do a lot. So that's your technique you always use. I mean, if I can get cavalry, I will get cavalry, but I can't always have cavalry. But yeah, you need to max out your cav. Cav is king, baby. Cav is king. I'm losing some info. I hope I can get some mercenaries from the Men of the Whitehorn territories. Can they Should be able to. Come over to your side, or well, mercenaries are just you know, yeah, whoever gives me the most money, I will fight for. Uh, sell swords, basically, and money is not the problem. So, you know, if I can get some humans or even dwarves to fight for me for the right price, yeah, sure, happily, less elf blood I need to spill, the better. And the list is back. Uh, took you long enough, me. Right, those reinforcements are coming over, so I'm going to park myself on the hill with my archers. Oh, you're still coming! Yeah, yeah, pay attention to the minimap, mate. Yeah, they ran, and I think they were waiting for these guys to pop up, and then we kind of reversed the order of this battle. I wanted to take down the other army first, then yeah. this army. That captain's dead now. So any troops that weren't routing yet, will rout now. Shaken. But not stirred. Broken. Yeah, those guys are broken, these guys aren't yet. But they're a ballista crew. These guys are also still hanging about. That's more annoying. Because they're spearmen. And spearmen are a good counter to cavalry. Yeah. So you don't want to, like, charge them head on. That's a bit suicidal. I mean, I could, because these guys are quite bad. I wouldn't charge a good spearman unit head on. Because that's just... Uh, 
It's just a wee bit silly. Okay, they're uh, gone. They're in range, you fire on them. The Erin Voren Woodsman. I think we've already taken Erin Voren, so. They are woodsmen without a home, pretty much. Mm -hmm. I know, it's sad, right? Yeah. And you know whose fault that is? Yours? No, that's <laughs> that bloody fault. They attacked me. <laughs> this is, he's only mixing up history over here. <laughs> it's their fault. Are you that's an so Enidwife apologist? I'd like to know if you are. What do you mean you don't know? Are you a traitor? I thought we were friends at the very least. I thought we were more than that, but apparently not. Well, guys, there you have it. I'm back on the market, so... Uh, <laughs> don't you... If dare. there are any hot single ladies oh. watching my videos, then just pop me a DM. Why are you laughing? Alright, fine. You don't have to be single nor a lady. I'm not that picky. <laughs> You just need to like the Lord of the Rings. That's literally it. And I Star Wars, preferably. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Why do you say yeah <laughs> like that? Because you're always asking to watch the Clone Wars. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I'm so sorry. And just you always say yeah, and then <laughs> it never ends up happening. I'm sorry. I, I want everyone in the comments section who's watched the Clone I'm Wars repeat in the sorry. comments. <laughs> How cool the Clone Wars is, so Mrs. Z will finally watch it with me. You can say it as much as you want, but it doesn't get me to like it, necessarily, I mean... You need to give it a chance! I gave it a chance! No, you, did. you watched the I first watched, episode. I watched the movie, you like... Yeah, and I immediately and you told you... fell asleep. <laughs> that's true, but that's not really and, saying much. Uh, then I watched like two episodes. Yeah, but I told you, the beginning is not that good, but yeah, it gets a lot better. And you were always like, yeah, and then you were like, the beginning sucks, I was like, yeah, I told you! <laughs> but now you don't want to give it any more chance. I mean, it's fine, but, you know, <laughs> it's not fine. It's, not <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, but you know it's not fine. That's exactly what I'm saying. Is it okay if I can live with it? What do you mean? I need to be the one living with it. You know, kind of... Why do you keep oh. changing history? We continue like this, we it's will raining smash the enemy. It is raining hard. It's uh, quite outside. bad weather. Yeah. But Miss Izzy, the people who are watching this video can't see that. Yeah, but it's raining also there. Oh, that's true. Uh, actually, the <laughs> weather outside is almost exactly the same yeah. as the weather in-game. I see no skies of blue or tree. Oh, I see some trees of green. The trees like the rain, so I guess. Yeah, that's true. I need to charge those more chances or they're going to get rid of my sword masters. And I need those sword masters. Gee. There are just 36 of the horses. Yeah, but they're the general unit, so they always get back. Oh. Okay. I don't know, yeah, they can die as much as they want, as long as the general himself does not die. They'll always come back. Good time. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. The enemy army oh, flees the field. Nice. I need to run them down. <laughs> it's like get on mouse. Yeah, except we're like a tiger and they're like a yeah. tiniest little get forest now. Or is it? No, no, wait, that's the message guy. Is it so? Yeah. It's a heroic win right there. Boom. So that's the death of Captain Dumbshit and Handjob. <laughs> Do I... ask? No, okay, no. Just give me a look of like, no, don't bother. You know the answer, white boy. <laughs> that's oh, you got an extra trait. Night fighter? Great commander. I'd love to pick up some mouse. Alright, let's kill Captain. What? Yeah, also like mine. What? No. There, there? Left, left, left. That? Oh, no. Oh, I don't know why it gives like that little money icon. But no, we get, I think, 300 gold coins per battle, we win. Oh, and we oh, lose 300. Oh, Bregos is right here. There's only, so they moved out that garrison to meet us on the field. We slaughtered the garrison, and now those guys are like. Uh. <laughs> So we'll just get rid of Milios. He might retreat to Bregos. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to ignore Milios, I think. Can you just go like around him? No, actually, I'm going to kill him. So we'll get rid okay. of him. No, but otherwise he might like act he annoying. He might annoy you. So I'll just another time. Well, again, uh, finish off this battle real quick and just show you the result, because I really want to include us taking Bregos in this episode. And otherwise. Do you also need to fight for Bregos? Yeah, but there's a very small, okay, very small guys. Yeah. Only one unit. 
So I'll just show you the result and then we'll do the Battle of Bregost and end the episode there. So let's just save and then I'll get back to you with the result. Fight to the end. All right, another easy battle. I mean, we lost one guy and it's part of the general unit, so we get him back anyway. And actually my bowman got some experience from that, so that's really nice actually. Everyone except the soul masters got experience, so that's really, 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 really good. All right. Boom. <laughs> you don't even ask me anymore. Well, I don't have to. <laughs> the answer's quite clear. Alright, let's take Bregos so we can end this episode with some territory gain. Oh. Glee he's got like no eyes. I th it looks like he's wearing sunglasses. Yeah, or like a mask. He's like the guy from CIS. You know the music when he puts on the sunglasses and like, yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got the regular general, so you know. Uh, this is actually a pretty big chunk of land that we're about to take, so quite happy with that. Let's save and take this land and expand our realm even more. Evil must not be allowed to triumph this day. All right, I like fighting in these villages because they always have like a nice hill overlooking the town square. Yeah. So I can put my arches up there and just <laughs> down, and they're like, oh god. That's cruel. Is it? I guess it is. <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> yeah, of course you don't. There are no winners in war, Miss Izzy. Only losers. But there are some who lose quite a lot more than the others. <laughs> ah, that's one way to put it. And my goal is to be not the ultimate loser. Okay. Game's a bit laggy, but that's fine. I have no trouble getting rid of them. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their yeah, men. They're about to lose everyone. Don't chuck your javelins at me. I don't want them. <laughs> Keep them. Yeah, shoot them. Yeah, I'm shooting them. What do you think I'm doing? Oh, they're caught them. in a crossfire. They're literally being shot from all sides. Oh my god. That's the general. He's got no men left to lead, but he's still like, follow me, guys. Oh, the game is falling apart because there's so much fire going on. And he just died. Oh, so you know, that was pretty clean, huh? And that's why it's so fun to play as the elves. We kill everyone, we lose no one. <laughs> Alright, that's Bregost. Which I think I will occupy. Yeah. I think it can actually be quite a wealthy settlement. So I'm just going to move my general around. Just to plop down some watchtowers so we have vision. They're angry now. Yeah, because my general's out. Once I put my general back in. But I just wanted to take him on a quick tour. Around. Yeah, I just put down some watchtowers so I got vision. Yeah. Because they hold Saraline still. Which is where the Saraline mercenaries come from. But uh, I will send a spy. How's my culture looking here? 40%. That's decent. That spy can now move south. So we can get vision and see what kind of troops they have on this yeah. uh, front. And we're getting ever so closer to uniting our realms, you know? So yeah, indeed. Once I start expanding from here, which will happen after we kick out Eochaith. So he'll try to attack us, which will be probably the first battle of the next episode. Mm -hmm. It's a really big fight. It's going to be a hard fight. But you can do it. Yeah, Elstenetha will be a tough settlement. It's going to give me some like towers, some wars that I can fight from. Yeah. Plus I got my best troops in there and I got a lot of troops in there. So I think it's going to be relatively easy to win. Then I also need to get rid of Artagan. So there's a lot of troops I'll be fighting, but once I break through those two big armies, yeah. I should be able to make a move on Bayrik, which you can tell, you know, very small garrison, nothing to really report. You're right. You're right. And I want to do a two-pronged attack. Yes. Yes. And immediately march on. Where is it? Dunlarak at the same time, which is that capital. Yeah. So they got a bunch more defenders there, but it shouldn't be too hard. And that's a big blow to Dunland. You know, that should buy me a lot of time. And then I hope I can expand a bit further to, uh, well, join the realms, you know. Mm -hmm. So Bregos will get the artist studio there as well. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to be doing right now. So, yeah, we're going to have to call it a day here. I think this episode's already going to be a little bit longer than usual. But, you know, if Miss Izzy joins us, we got to make it. got to squeeze out every second of it. 
because uh, yeah I, I don't know if you'll be here for the next recording <laughs> I yeah. hope so it'll be fun <laughs> but uh, I don't know either <laughs> we'll see we'll see we'll see but yeah from me thanks for watching from Miss Izzy any last words any warm regards or just bye also thanks for watching <laughs> you're gonna say the, the bye bye okay bye <laughs>